presentation today. It's about a new continent. Yeah. It's the continent of Africa. Yes. Boys and girls, Africa is the second largest continent after Asia. Asia. Even though Africa is the second largest continent, it has the most countries. It has 35 countries. So it has more countries than any other um, continent. Even though Asia is bigger, it doesn't have as many countries as Africa. Africa has 35 what? countries. One thing about Africa is a lot of the ancient civilizations have started in Africa. A large population in Africa still um, farms and a lot of people, yes? Uh -huh. How much is um, how much um, one third of Asia have? We're talking about Africa, can I finish? Okay. So, a lot of the ancient civilizations started in Africa. Africa still has a large population. What that means is that there are a lot of people that live in Africa that they still live by farming their land. And a lot of people that live in Africa still grow their own food. One thing Africa has as kind of a problem as a continent is having clean water to drink. That's a problem that's for the whole continent. So this is a map that shows us Africa as a green continent. If we go up in space and we look down on planet Earth, Africa is not green. And North America is not orange. This is what Africa would look like from space. There are some deserts. There's some rainforests. What? Like the gorillas live in Central West Africa where it rains every day. They call it the misty forest. Misty forest? And what does that mean? Elephants live in an area that is called um, grassland. So it's kind of different than the rainforest. Where elephants li live in the grassland, it rains for six months and it's dry for six months. So let's talk about this continent here, what we're looking at. Up here, there's a sea called the Mediterranean Sea. This is up here. This is the Mediterranean Sea. It looks black. This here is the Mediterranean Sea. This here is the Atlantic Ocean. This here is the Atlantic Ocean. Right here is the Red Sea. The Red Sea. This is Asia, this is Africa, and the Red Sea divides Asia and Africa. So this is the Red Sea. This is Africa and this is Asia. This is Africa. This part is the Saudi Peninsula or the Ara Arabian Peninsula and this is the Red Sea. Now, up here starts a river called the Nile and it goes all the way down. The Nile is the longest river. It starts up here. You see it? That's the Nile. And this little triangle is called the Nile Delta. It's a little triangle in Egypt. It's called the Nile Delta. Right here. The Nile River. Love the Egypt. The Nile is the longest river on planet Earth. And right by the beginning where the Nile is in this desert are the pyramids. 
that's in the country of Egypt, and people come from all over the world to visit the pyramids, and this is one of the ancient civilizations that um, exists or existed in Africa. Uh, Africa has a large, large animal um, um, kinds of species, like large animal population. And people, and the large areas of Africa are nature preserves where people can go and visit the animals in their habitat. When we go see elephants, we go to the zoo, right? But really in real life, elephants, boys and girls, don't live in the zoo. We brought them from where they live and we put them in the zoo. They live in the grasslands and some kind of different kind of elephants live in Asia but they were not in Cincinnati that's what not where they are from they're not from the Cincinnati Zoo right so when you visit animals in Africa you go to these animal preserves like the Serengeti my daughter was there a few times Your daughter. My daughter was there, and you can go and you, you you see all kinds of things. You see rhinos, you see elephants, you see lions, you see cheetahs, um, and you go on a jeep. You go on a jeep, and you have to respect those animals. There are a lot of rules how to be respectful of the animals and not disturb them. So a lot of people, again, still travel from all over the world to visit those nature preserves and see these African animals in their natural, natural habitat. Talk about animals. There's an island here called Madagascar. What? This island is called Madagascar. 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 And Madagascar is an island of of the mainland of Africa, but it's still, um, but it's still part of the continent. And there are animals like leavers, supposedly only exist in Madagascar, and they don't exist anywhere else. Now think of the fact that Madagascar is an island, and some of these animals cannot swim, and they. Most animals don't know how to build a boat and go to the United States to have hamburgers, right? So they stay in Madagascar. And some animals that are from Madagascar, we cannot find them anywhere else in the world. This is Lake Victoria. <coughs> Over here is Lake Victoria. And there is Victoria. Um, Falls in Africa. Um, I see that everybody is being distracted, so I'm going to cut my presentation short. If you look around the classroom, you will see some fabrics. A lot of these fabrics my daughter brought from Kenya and from Tanzania. These are countries in Africa. Some of the things that we have here on the rug. Um, My daughter let me borrow her. Uh, this is something that uh, is used to make or roll the bread. You make the dough and, and you, you use this to make bread. She, she bought this and she used this with the family she was with. She let me borrow it. Um, this is some of the crafts that they make these are elephants that are made with African fabric. But my daughter explained to me that some of these fabrics, if you look at them, you know, for example, what family you're from. So if I'm wearing a dress and it's this color and it's this pattern, and Denise sees me, she will know where I'm from just looking at the fabric. So the fabric tells a story of who your family is and where you live. 
these are some of the things that um, are made of special wood that grows in Africa and it's the color of the wood is black. It's not dyed black. Do you know what animal is this? A rhino. So that's, no, that's not an elephant. That's a, one of the animals that live in Africa. This one is an That's not a camel. An elephant. No. This is a deer. It's a gazelle. Yeah. You're right. And who knows what this one is? Mm -hmm. That's a hippo. Hippos. My daughter stayed in a place where it had a little lake and she saw hippos all the time. No, me either. And who knows what this is? A giraffe. A giraffe. And what's this one? A zebra. A zebra. Yeah. Right. And this one? A turtle. Turtle. No, turtle. Right. And these are some of the masks that some of the tribes in Africa. Those are Egypt masks. They're not Egyptian masks, actually. Mom, mom has but they're from, yeah, a lot of people who travel to Africa well, will buy like these. Really yeah. They don't, they're not actually like real masks. They don't want to stick on your face. Yeah. So mm -hmm. some of them are decorative and people who um, participate in ceremonies and special folklore dances that has to do with their tribes, um, put a certain masks for certain times of the year. Um, as I said, there's just one thing I wanted to share with you that my daughter wanted you to know, because she lived there for a while. She said that she wanted you to know that some children in Africa live just like you. They go to the mall and they have um, Bad. cars and vans and, and supermarket and everything. But there are sections in Africa where children your age have to get up at four in the morning and walk for a couple of hours to go get water for the family. Mm. They bring the water and the water is not clean. So they have to boil the water to be able to use it for cooking. Then they go to school. And after they come from school, those children have chores. They have chores. They have to help their parents and their younger siblings. So those kids that are your age, if they live in a village that relies on farming and that the parents have to grow their own food and they have um, a cow or some goat or something, the children have to help and they, they work hard. They work very hard. And um, having clean water to drink and clean water to cook with is not an easy thing. It's, it's very challenging oh. for them. Yes. So thank you for listening. Um, if you have any questions, we can talk about it later.